This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue unlearning the world with Book 2. In Chapter 4, this is Section 9, Pockets of Guilt. Hi, David. You say pockets of guilt must be exposed and voluntarily given to the Holy Spirit. As this occurs, it becomes apparent that the guilt was never real. I have tried to do this, but I have doubt that I am doing it effectively. My thinking is very literal. The past that I hold in mind was very bad, violent, painful, etc. I have tried to let it go and think of it as just a really bad dream where nothing in it was real. I was, am the dreamer, making everything in the dream happen. I constantly ask the Holy Spirit, Jesus, to help me with everything I do. This is on my mind almost every waking hour. It is like an obsession to find my way home. I realize that there is nothing here in this world that is worth anything at all. I asked Holy Spirit about all the problems I seem to have. This is a simplified version of what I believe I got. I have only one problem. And that problem is that I believe that I can be separate from God. All other problems stem from this one belief and are only distractions to keep me from looking at the original problem. For if I look at the original problem, reason will tell me that it is impossible for me to be separate from God. I think this is true, but I am not sure. This leads me back to the letting go of guilt idea. I have guilt for something that did not happen. It did not happen because it has no cause. But I can believe it happened, which does not make it real, but generates guilt. Is this not insanity? How do I bring guilt for something that never happened to light and give it to the Holy Spirit? How do I know that I have been successful at this? I do not want anything to keep my mind from being healed, from awakening from the dream. Hello, beloved one. Thanks for writing. Your desire to find your way home is a powerful force. It is pushing all the attack thoughts into awareness. You can relax. There is no need to feel like it is an obsession. Since you are giving your mind permission to let the beliefs and thoughts surface. What you are hearing from the Holy Spirit is true. I have only one problem and that problem is that I believe that I can be separate from God. All other problems stem from this one belief and are all distractions to keep me from looking at the original problem. For if I look at the original problem Reason will tell me that it is impossible for me to be separate from God. 
all of the surface issues, which are form problems, were made to distract the mind from looking within at the beliefs. Think of the mind like concentric circles with desire in the center. The next ring is belief, followed by thought, followed by emotion, followed by perception. The inner areas determine the outer. You are using your desire center to wake up as the incentive to question everything you believe. And as false belief is dissolved, the thoughts that sprang from the ego are released as well. This in turn releases fearful emotions and perceptions. That is why ACIM talks so frequently about the little willingness. It is this splinter of desire to awaken, joined with the Holy Spirit, that ignites the undoing of the ego. The Holy Spirit is the how and miracles or shifts in perception are the means. Cause and effect are getting turned back around and this means you are becoming aware that mind is causative. Quickly give over these thoughts to the Holy Spirit and he will show you that the thoughts had no real effects. Pockets of guilt are fixed beliefs that have not been questioned and are still assumed to be true. The base of these beliefs is the belief that time is linear instead of simultaneous. As the pockets of guilt are released, peace returns to awareness. You will know of your mind training success by the peace you feel. <laughs>